birds mostly travel over long distances in groups called flocks. When flying, minimizing the energy use is very crucial especially for long distance traveling birds. Most of the energy used in flight is used to generate upward moving air to provide lift. Therefore, the easiest way to minimize energy is to catch upward moving air. For most birds that travel long distances, this is achieved by flying in a V formation. Let's look at how this V formation helps them achieve this. As a bird flaps its wings during flight, it pushes air downward to create the lift needed to keep flying. Because of this, the air just behind the bed moves downward. This is called downwash. At the same time, the air on the sides towards the wing tips of the bed moves upward and this is called upwash. Therefore, if another bed flies directly behind a lead bed, it flies in its downwash. This makes the bed exhaust more energy in flying since it has to be the downward moving air just behind the lead bird. But by flying at the side of a lead bird close to its wingtips, a following bird gets a bit of a free ride since it gains lift from the upwash from the lead bird. Since this upwash is produced at wingtips of a lead bird, following birds align their wingtips at the wingtip of the bird ahead of them. It is this form of alignment that makes birds assume the V shape while flying in a flock. Thanks for watching. If, if you would like to know the explanation to other phenomena like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to be notified.